Hi guys and welcome to your July 2021. This is going to be the you versus them reading for the beautiful sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam bams, and hello to my members. Um, first and foremost, I am drawing your attention to a um, message that is going to be on the community tab and in Patreon for you guys if you're interested in knowing where the videos went there you probably have noticed a disruption and you also have seen some things uploaded out of order i do apologize and i'm not going to hold up the video giving you an explanation here so if you're interested please go to my community tab so you can figure out what's going on with me but in the meantime we will resume reg regularly our regular scheduled um, uploads as of next week. Okay. So you're going to see things come in for the next couple of days that are going to be a little out of order. Um, but please just bear with me and I appreciate you for being so gracious. Let's get started. Yes. This is going to be the you versus them and Libra. Um, first of all, happy Leo season. Second of all, happy full moon in Aquarius. Please make sure that you and acknowledge, release, and adjust anything that needs your attention in this uh, moon in Aquarius energy. Please look out on the channel for um, the uh, full moon and Aquarius affirmation video on channel two. I will be commentating on that just like I did for the last one. And you should see that uploaded to the channel tomorrow. Okay, let's get started. I did tell you Libra Collective that, um, well, I told Leo, I apologize. Um, we're not going to get a, um, a central theme. Instead, we're going to be taking a look at where you guys are right now in current energy. And then we're going to be taking a look at the bottom of the deck, which indicates past energy. So I can let you know at that point what happened in the past and versus where you are right now. So. Um, as you know, everything that you need about this reading is below in the description box. I am using the illuminated tarot dual deck. Blue is going to represent our masculine side. Gold is going to represent our feminine side. The blue is going to represent our masculine side for our clarifiers. And the pink is going to represent our feminine side for the clarifiers. Okay, so... Let's get right into a top of the deck and um, the energetic, um, the energy around our masculines right now is coming up as a, this is the club. Club is the equivalent of the wine, very fiery. This is the Jack. And that is also equivalent to the night right now. Our masculines are feeling definitely like the night of wands. And when I tell you that I'm looking at this energy for our uh, masculines, I know for a fact that right now I do feel a little bit about them quote unquote chasing their tail if that makes sense i feel like they have they're just kind of out here if that makes sense like listlessly moving about milling about um not really knowing what's going on with them lately like they look like they're kind of just chasing their tail now i understand that the traditional energy of this particular card talks and speaks very much about the fact that that's passion and you want a knight of wands on your side um, you know, because he can be definitely charming, he or she, self-confident, very daring. Um, they can be very adventurous. They can be a, very passionate, but there's another side. Um, if you catch this energy low vibrational, then you might experience, you know, our superficial, cocky, foolhardiness, um, foolhardy, um, very restless, hot temper and things of that nature. And of course, as we know, we have nicknamed this the playboy of the deck because that energy is kind of chasing what it wants and it's motivated by its own wants. OK, however, the clarifying energy at the top of the deck is I still have feelings for you. So the masculines wants to send a very clear message to you right now, feminines, um, and they feel as if. You know, yes, I'm out here. It's clear that you guys have are not together. You're not seeing eye to eye right now. Um, you know, masculines feel like I still have feelings for you. Now, if you, if you say still, then obviously there, you know, if, if you're in a space of still, then that means that there's something happened that possibly caused the, the collapse here. Let me just silence these notifications before they start on my other computer. I apologize. Um, and so I'm feeling like they know that the very energy that they're in right now is the very energy that could have brought this crashing down. 
That's where they are with you right now. We're doing this in reverse. What's the problem? The problem was the six of cups. Um, in the past, this is where you are right now. I did do it in reverse because I think it's very interesting when you see this. They are in an energy of in the past with you. And this is also the lovers. It is, you know, this is a blended deck. Um, and I feel like when I see this, there was a connection between you two. And the problem is, is that their real self came out. The playboy of the deck has love options. It could be said that in the past, he obviously or she made the wrong choice masculines you allowed yourself to be put inside of a situation that caused issues between you and the feminines this situation obviously could have put you in the could have put you in a space of having multiple choices in love obviously there are six whole cups of love and there's a deep spiritual connection especially if right now you're feeling that you still have feelings for the Libra feminines. However, the card that kind of matches where you were, which really goes along with this whole thing in the past is I do love you. Now, again, if you're in an energy of saying that I do love you, then obviously that is indicative of some uncertainty. So yes, your behavior definitely betrayed your feelings because on the feminine side right now, they're in an energy of the five of swords, lies, tricks, cheats, and deceits. What's beautiful about this energy is, is our Libra feminines are feeling very much so like they have to protect themselves from the lies, tricks, cheats, and deceits. They feel like they have to have a poker face. Now, let me tell you the significance of poker. Um, and I don't play the game, but I do know there's something in that game where you bluff. You know how I'm evidencing that? The evidence is the fact that the feminines right now can't stop thinking about you masculines, but you've hurt them so bad. They will not let your ass know that, period. They are holding their cards to so their chest. Symbolic to me is holding all the cards. And if you love them, you do love them and you still have feelings for them. Right now, they are not letting you in their circumference at all because of possibly this energy with these multiple love choices. However, what was the straw that broke the camel's back was you were fickle in love. With the Knight of Cups, you were definitely very romantic. The problem with this card is, is when, which is also ind indicative of Pisces energy tribe, okay? Um, we have an energy. They're looking at themselves as chasing their passion and doing whatever they want to do. Masculines. But the feminines are looking at you as being fickle in love. One minute you're up, the next minute you're down. You want your cake and eat it too. And this is how they're viewing you right now. Of course, they're in an energy of a five of swords. They're like, uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm holding my cards here. I'm not allowing you in. However, Libra feminines are looking at you and feeling like your behavior as indicated in this Knight of cups was the very damn thing that got you in this decision, in this, in this situation. And if you look at the fact that there is a fish upstream and one down, one, it's like you're going around and around. One minute you feel like this, the next minute you felt like that. And they got tired of being on your merry-go-round. However, they are bluffing because although they felt that way, they feel that way about you right now, they still want you. And that is what they are not going to let you know. And there I say that some of these feminines are pissed off. They're pissed off that they want you like that because they know that you don't deserve it. OK, you don't deserve that. Um, they're very much so mad at themselves for allowing themselves to even feel this way about you. Masculines. And they feel stupid that they allowed you to do those things and they don't feel and. No one's stupid here, but they do feel they're there. And that's the reason why they're guarding their heart. No one is stupid. The heart wants what it wants. Make no mistake, Libra tribe. But feminines are definitely feeling some kind of way towards you. They're not showing their hurt right now because as much as they win the game, I believe masculines that you allow them to win the game a little bit. 
because you're so focused on what you're focused on right now that you can kind of, I'm not going to say appreciate, but you're, I don't want to say allow either, but you feel very much so cocky where you in this night of wands, that's how you're feeling right now. So, you know, you're kind of feeling like, okay, I'll let you have that. And they're like, you're not letting me have anything. Let's get energy, main energy right now for our masculine. Show me spirit what's going on. All right. All three of them came out. All right, so first and foremost, we are in the energy of the Queen of Cups. We do have the Six of Wands, which is also the Tower. And we also have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. Two sixes, there is a choice. Um, I am feeling like their heart right now is very much so focused on you. Um, this Queen of Cups, let me check. I do not believe... I think our two of cups is our temperance. Let me make sure that my queen of cups isn't blended. One second. I feel as if, where are you queen? Is she the empress? Um, yep. <laughs> I had to check. You know, when you've been working with a deck so long, you have to remember what the blends are. So yes. So this is the empress. Um, right now, I believe that they're in an energy. Oh, and the top of the deck, obviously, is the five of cups. So something came crashing down between you guys. Something is over. I believe that this was a situation masculine. Um, I see a dinner. I see some type of dinner. I see maybe you guys went out to dinner and decided to put the kibosh on this. Um, I don't know whether there is another person here, but there definitely is a choice to make. Someone is possibly moving into some type of new situation. Masculine, you are coming up with an energy. Obviously, there was a tower, so there's definitely something that's over. It could be that Libra, obviously, you are the empress because Venus is your ruler. So you're very much so in their energy. They're honing in on your energy and your love, manifesting you and keeping you very close. They look at you as the only person who they can possibly build or have anything real with however the six of wands indicates that although they saw what they were doing as a success with that six of wands and they wanted the acclaim you cut them and slice them right down back to size because it's over um and i believe that they know that um it could have been some type of dinner i keep picking up on like this dinner energy um because that six of um of pentacles is definitely talking about balance um, obviously that's another reference for you, Libra, both sides, obviously Libra masculines and Libra feminines, but I feel like it was not balanced, obviously with this six, there's a lot of sixes here. Okay. A lot of six energy. We know that it is about making the right choice. Okay. Hold on. We know that. It is uh, more so in the energy of a seven. We want to make choices. But in all of this six energy, it's still like you're looking at this situation like it can work. Uh, masculines and feminines are just like with everything that you've done to me, how can you even possibly be that delusional to think that this relationship is going to work? Yes. However, there is definitely a sadness. But again, even with this sadness and this tower, I do not feel like feminines that masculines is deterred by this situation. So they could be saying, yeah, but you're not going anywhere. That, that thing where they exploit you. I don't even want to say exploit, but they're they're very confident. Again, they are, again, feeling like the Knight of Wands right now. They're the man right chill. OK, so they're feeling very confident and very cocky. And thinking that whatever they've done to you, you're not going that far. They're not going to release you. And I know I know that upsets me when you have that cockiness and you feel feminines as if they're not even taking responsibility for what they've done and the damage that they've caused yet they have the gall to tell you what you will where you will and won't go so that's the reason why you're definitely safeguarding yourself and that's the reason why it feels like a poker game <laughs> oh hold on that's the reason why it feels like a poker game okay let's go ahead and get some energy for you feminines so wow like they they really feel like no matter what, this is triumphant. They, I mean, 
Was there some type of party? Somebody's having a party or something and somebody feels like they still can come. Masculine feels like just because you guys are not together or, you know, they're not crying over spilled milk. They're a little sad, but they still, they're so confident. Um, I feel a party, definitely some type of triumph, some type of event on the masculine side or feminine is your event. And they came and tried to crash the party and you don't want them to come. Um, yes. Yeah, so right now, feminines, you are definitely in the ton of wands. You feel like you have been carrying this burden way too long. You're over it. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to advance to the Ace of Wands. You want your brand new beginning. Um, yes, of course, as I've already showed you, you want and obviously can't stop thinking about your masculine. But at the same time, you're really trying to process your pain and move forward because what you would like is an Ace of of the Ace. You're experiencing Libra Feminines, the Ace of Pentacles. So that could be what this Six of Pentacles is. You. One or both of you, and I really do feel like feminines is you has it has experienced some level of um, success, maybe traveling. I feel you know what I I'm channeling because I'm looking at a dinner. I'm looking at an exchange, a celebration, but not like a wedding reception or anything. Not t not like that type of celebration. But when I'm looking at them breaking bread, okay. And that's six of, 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 of uh, pentacles. And I'm looking at the fact that you're going into some type of new situation that's going to bring you abundance of uh, feminines. And I do want to let you know that this is blended also for the world. Um, they really do feel like they should be a part of what this success is. Um, and if there is some type of dinner, congratulatory, a congratulatory type of event, I'm really feeling like they're trying to come and be all up, up in your thing. If that part doesn't resonate with you, then let that go. Show me spirit. Where are we? So you. Okay. Aha. This is the king of swords. That is also where you're at. This is also the emperor. So you're trying to actively feminines take the necessary steps that you need to rid yourself of this heartache and pain. And you feel like because the masculines have caused all this pain, you feel like they're almost exploiting you for your love. Like you love me, right? So, and you're just like, you know what? You've done enough. Can you just let me celebrate my newfound state of mind, my newfound money, promotion, whatever this is, without you being all up in the mix? They're definitely all up in your thing and not going to let you just achieve that by yourself. Um, they made some mistakes, but they, they, they're very confident at the same time. I'm telling you, and very cocky because they're feeling like the Knight of Wands. Okay. So not only are you going into a new state of mind and a state of thinking and a state of being right now, you're releasing those burdens. You're actively trying to release those burdens, feminines, and you're moving more into the emperor mentality with the King of Swords. So although our emperor is very much so fire, you have the right blend to go and cut through the muck and get through all of the miscommunication and all of the, the thoughts and actions that no longer all of the thoughts that no longer serve you and enacting the certain the, the perfect pitch and the perfect amount of action to get some change. The top of the deck, you are in the four of swords right now. I don't care what they say to you. Right now, you are quietly preparing for your next move. Right now, you are quietly preparing on what to do. And you are trying to eliminate the distractions and make a decision with your, your, your uh, logic and not your heart. It doesn't matter that you can't stop thinking about this person. And it doesn't matter that you want them. You are trying to look. You're very logical right now. You have a lot of swords. So you're trying to balance out your emotions. But ding, ding, ding. This is also the death card. So right now you're in a very highly contemplative mode and you're trying to get results. Okay. That is where you are. You are trying to death this. You are in a four of swords. Um, that's also death. So endings are beginnings, but you are not looking at a beginning with this person. Um, however, they feel like <laughs> this, this masculine side really feels like they see a lot of triumph here. Um, they want to move forward. They want the acclaim. They want they want the credit. They feel entitled to you. They feel very much so 
like whatever you get, they're entitled to it. All right, let's go in with some clarifiers so we can get you out of here. Wow. Dang, Libra. Mm. <laughs> let's show me where we're at. All right, we do have, you didn't see my tears. So the masculines are saying, yes, this came crashing down and they're kind of playing the game. You guys are kind of doing the exact same thing. Feminines, you're looking at it from a more logical perspective and trying to disassociate yourself from the feelings. Masculines have always been good at acting like they didn't care. And they're really saying that although this came crashing down and they're in your energy that you didn't see the tears that they shed and they wouldn't allow you to see the tears because this also hurt them as well. Wow. Show me spirit. What do we have for the Libra masculines? We also have, I am recovering. Wow. So they're coming in really strong and they're like, this destroyed me as well. I know that I was the one that brought the ship down, but I I'm, I'm also, <laughs> I want to make amends. Ooh, well, I'm gonna leave that one alone. Because they feel so happy with you. Oh, and they miss being with you. I'm going to stop right there. Wow. You're not having it, Libra. But let's see. You're not having it, feminines. So they want to make amends. They, 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 you may be looking at them as, you know, them doing this um, and they're trying to exploit you. But at the core of all their misbehaving, it's coming through very strong that they shed tears over this breakup. They are, they're recovering and they did this to themselves and that they want to make amends. Show me what we have, please, for the Libra Feminine Collective. We have, oh, I know I messed everything up. Now, Libra, you're going to have to explain this to Feminines. Show me. I hid who I really am from you. Oh, is this because you're hiding how you feel and you really do want them to? Okay, well, you guys are definitely both like in your contemplative mode, um, feminines. You could be reflecting and feeling like that you messed everything up. At least you guys are vibrating on the same level in your clarification, regardless of what you're showing one another, because you're really showing that poker face right now, as I told you, in that five of swords energy, because you're very much so still in that pain. And they, and although you're in the five of swords, um, that's how you started. They're still very much so feeling that pain and sadness. And right now you're trying to dead things in the death card. But maybe this death is some things that need to change in you internally. Um, maybe that's what it is. Show me, spirit. What do we have as we end? There's a lot that's trying to come out. I want to feel that way again. So some of you guys really do miss this person and want them back. I think overall. Oh, I think overall. Um. You a lot. Oh, oh, are you guys going to talk? Are you guys? I think I don't know, Libra. Oh, there's so many that came out. All right. So they're reflecting on their happiness. They want to make amends. OK, um, I think you guys are going to reconcile because you want to tell them how you feel. Um, and once you guys actually talk about this, I think that um, this this will reconcile. I do know that there is a lot of things, feminines, that you're holding back, um, but, but you do need some time. So give yourself some grace. Don't just rush back into it unless you guys really sit down and have a real clear conversation. But again, you didn't see their tears. I want to make amends and I am recovering. Now, the tears are definitely coinciding with this five of cups because, you know, we always call that card the crying over spilled milk card. OK, um, so when we're talking about I hid who I really am from you, that kind of goes back feminines into that five of swords, that poker face. But when we talk about I know I messed everything up. I kind of feel like that's what you're going through in your contemplative mode right now. And there's nothing wrong with it. It actually shows growth on both ends. Maybe you guys are going to be talking about this over dinner because if we go one down, we do have a six of pentacles, which mirrors 
this dinner or celebration that I keep thinking about. And then if we go one more down, we got that two of wands, which is that talk. You see those mouths. And in this particular deck, it is talking about a heated debate, um, a, a passionate conversation or a heated debate. So I feel like there's going to be a meeting, a meeting of the minds. Um, and, and let's face it. I hear who I really am from you. I wouldn't necessarily say that, but there was definitely some hiding on the, on the feminine side because you felt like you, they didn't deserve, um, your love because of what they did. I want to let you know that this is a deep spiritual connection. We do have the lovers. Um, and maybe you guys are going to finally be getting into a situation where you consummate that love. So wow. Like share and subscribe to the marvelous tribe. I certainly hope that this resonated guys. I will see you guys really, really soon when we do it again. Um, and if you're interested in what's going on with the rest of the videos, please pay attention, uh, to the description, not the description box, the, uh, community tab. Okay. Bye Libra.